In this example, we have a rectangular swimming pool 20 feet wide and 40 feet long, and it has a path of uniform width around it. If the area of the path is 544 square feet, find the width of the path. As there is only one unknown in this problem, the width of the path, I'm going to let that be my variable. It doesn't matter which letter you pick, I'm just going to let x equal the width of the path in feet. Next, we need to draw a picture of the situation. So here is my pool in blue, and then around it, I have a path of uniform width. So my pool is 20 feet wide, so this distance here is 20 feet. It is 40 feet long, this is 40 feet. And then my path is x feet wide, that means this distance is x feet, as is this one, and this one, and finally this one. We are told that the area of the path is 544 square feet. So where is that on my picture? Well, it is all the area around the pool, everything I've shaded here in red. That is equal to my 544 square feet. Now, I need to write a mathematical equation that just has the area that's shaded in red. There are two different ways to find the area shaded in red. The first method, I could break up my area into four little rectangles. I could take one here, one at this end, and then one here, and one here. That sounds rather complicated. I think it will be a lot easier to find the total area of the path and the pool, and then subtract the area of the pool. So that's the method I'm going to use. So the area of the pool equals length times width. What was the length? 40 feet. What was the width? 20 feet. So it's 40 times 20, which is 800 square feet. Now I need to find the total area. So I need this length here. Well, it's the length of the pool plus x on the left and x on the right, so it's 40 plus x plus x, so it's just 40 plus 2x. And a similar manner, the width is 20 plus x plus x, so it's going to be 20 plus 2x. So now the area of the pool plus the path is again length times width. The length is 40 plus 2x times the width is 20 plus 2x. So now how do I find the area of the path? So to get the area of the path, we just subtract these two areas. So it is the total area, 40 plus 2x times 20 plus 2x. And we're just going to subtract the area of the pool. And that has to equal the 544 square feet. So 544 equals... Now I'm going to have to fall this out. 40 times 20 is 800. 40 times 2x is 80x. 2x times 20 is 40x. Plus 2x times 2x is 4x squared minus 800. So what kind of equation am I getting here? It looks like a quadratic equation. 
I have 800 minus 800 that adds to zero. And I'm going to collect everything on the right hand side. So I'm going to subtract 544 from both sides. And I get zero equals, we need to write this in descending order. So I'm going to have 4x squared. 80x and 40x is 120x minus 544. 4 divides evenly into each of these numbers. So I'm going to get 0 equals 4 times x squared plus 4 divides into 120 30 times. So I get plus 30x minus 4 divides into 500. And 44, 136 times. So I, I have two factors multiplied together equal zero. You set each of them equal to zero. Well, you set four equal to zero. Well, that's not possible. So I'm going to have to solve x squared plus 30x minus 136 equals zero. I'm running out of room, so I need to go to the next slide. Here is my equation from the previous slide. It's a simple quadratic equation. The leading coefficient of the x squared is a 1. So it should be fairly quick to decide if this is going to factor or not. So I need to look for two numbers that multiply to my constant of one negative 136 and add to the b term, which is 30. Since my numbers multiply to a negative, they have to be opposite in sign. If they add to a positive, it means the bigger one has to be positive. So I could try negative 1 and positive 136, but negative 1 plus 136 is 135, not what I'm looking for. I'm going to put the video on pause for a second. So you can see from my table, negative 2 and 68 did not work. 3 did not divide into 136, but negative 4 times 34 is negative 136. And negative 4 plus 34 is 30. So here are my two factors. So I'm going to get x minus 4 times x plus 34 equals zero. Now two factors multiply together equals zero. You set each of them equal to zero. X minus four equals zero. Add four to both sides. That gives you X equals four. The second one, X plus 34 equals zero. Subtract 34 from both sides. You get X equals negative 34. Now don't forget, x is the width of the path in feet. Can you have a width of a path being negative 34 feet? No, it doesn't make sense. So you know x has to equal 4 feet. So the width of the path is 4 feet.